What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. This morning, guys, we actually have some more WWE action figure news for you guys released by DFreedom30 on Instagram. Absolute beast of a just WWE action figure Instagram page. If you guys do not follow DFreedom30 on Instagram, definitely go check him out, guys. But you guys know over the weekend, over the past few days, we've been talking about all of the epic Mattel WWE figure reveals. And today it continues. You know, we mentioned that it will go through April 6th, so we might get some more reveals tomorrow as as well so this is pretty epic stuff but uh let's go ahead and dive into it guys we got a new basic series that we're going to take a look at wwe action figure basic series 109 or core basic series whatever the hell they call it is it wwe series 109 here we go let's go ahead and dive in guys the first figure that we have a look at is lana we have an updated lana since you know she has switched over her gear no longer looking in her in her pants suit no longer looking like a political figure out here she has her full wrestling gear on in this like cool blue colorway and it looks pretty good i like the head sculpt on it it looks just like her i think um i would have preferred like a slight smile maybe or a slight pissed off look but i can take you know just a normal face it looks just like her so uh that will work with me you got all the light blue going on you got down here on the boots i don't know what the hell does that say it says ravishing on her kick pad so that's beautiful you love to see that you got all the nice deco going on pretty flat, you know, nothing too crazy, no details besides maybe the netting on her stomach area. Uh, I do like the color of this. I'm definitely going to get it though because I have not had a Lana figure in a very long time. I actually sold my pantsuit Lana a long time ago and since then I have not had an updated Lana so this one will work perfectly for our Bobby Trashleys, for our Rusevs if that ever happens again, if they go to AEW, whatever the, you know, the case is, uh, this will work out perfectly for Lana. So this Lana basic looks okay. Moving on guys, we have a Seth Rollins figure that is just like I, I don't know man it's so plain it's like one of the plainest basics ever let's take a look at it right here you guys can see we have a Seth Rollins in the full black like Monday Night Rollins gear I think this is around the time that he was you know fighting Brock Lesnar you know he had the injured ribs going into mania it was either the night after mania or going into mania he had the hurt ribs so they are going to include a rib wrap and he was still wearing the Monday Night Rollins gear but with all black so um, you guys can see there it's just plain black man it's a plain black attire black wrist tape with a rib wrap and then we have the basic 102 head sculpt on there that we have seen over the past few you know Seth Rollins figures Elite 75 we had a couple battle pack or we have one battle pack with this Rollins head scan and then we had the basic 102 figure with this head scan so there you go I mean I don't know what to say but there it is nothing too crazy with it just a plain black tights Seth Rollins with a rib wrap and nothing else to it so there there's that figure moving on we do have a brand new Undertaker and this one looks excellent it is a pretty much a fixed version of the basic 100 if you guys have seen the basic 100 Undertaker this one looks pretty much just like it except uh, I think they fixed the head size I think the head size is updated I love all the details we got going on I highly highly think uh, like I think this is a very big percentage that the next ultimate edition like obviously we have the rock but in series seven I could totally see the Undertaker being the you know the legend in that series and then them including this head sculpt as an interchangeable head sculpt possibly with new hair but I, I you know don't uh, don't uh, you know write that down that is just something that I'm spitballing at the moment but I think this Undertaker figure does look good I like the head sculpt going on you know he just has your basic like Undertaker logos you got the demon head or the devil head on the left side and then you have the Taker logo on the right side with the elbow pad and you guys know you can't arm swap or nothing like that just yet I would love to see basics return back to form but I, I don't know if that's going to happen I don't know even why they switched that but Undertaker's head sculpt does look good you know basics are pretty much for head sculpts now and crowd members but whatever you guys like to do I know a lot of people this is the basic series is actually their most selling series I think so you know it is what it is moving on guys we do have a new basic series 109 ricochet figure in the Nightwing gear if you guys can look in here look at all this deco we got going on now don't get me wrong it is pretty much just a plain black figure and then they just stuck a bunch of decals on it or deco on it and you know what it looks good I like everything going on with it it looks like the head Head sculpt improved maybe a little bit nothing too you know crazy maybe a little bit different paint uh, used on this head sculpt of ricochet but you got the ricochet logo on the left pectoral I have seen a custom like this from Mac decals who absolutely crushed it so it's really cool to see Mattel try this in basic figure form and it's cool that they are actually able to make this so maybe our next ricochet will probably be in a full pant or pantsuit I'm thinking a Lana over here 
Uh, maybe it'll be in this full suit. I personally, for one, do not like the suits like this. I like it when he just wears the pants. But, you know, anything, you, know, you do whatever you like, man. You, you, you know, a lot of people like this gear. And, again, this one has knee pads on it. And it has the one and only on there. So I don't know why we can get it on the basic and we can never get knee pads on the Elite Ricochets. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. We'll just have to see what happens going forward. Maybe they can fix it like we've seen with AJ Styles in the past. Used to not get knee pads. Then they fixed it and now he does come with knee pads. So Ricochet is another figure that we got going on with the one and only on there. And besides all the deco, it is a pretty plain figure. But it is cool that we do have all this deco. They even included it on the back. So that is that is really cool. You got that little triangle pattern with the Ricochet logo. All the stuff going on. But that is Ricochet in the Nightwing gear. Moving on, guys, we do have Becky Lynch. We got the man right here in a purple, silver, gold, and black gear with all the all the decals going in the middle. Uh, you'll notice in the middle of her forehead, she has like the, it looks like bruising, but that is just makeup. I think this is supposed to be from SummerSlam 2018. I think I read up on that this is supposed to be from SummerSlam 2018. I cannot remember. I feel like women's gears, I feel like, uh, run together a lot more unless it's like really iconic to me. So for her, I, I cannot remember exactly what it looked like. Like I remember her WrestleMania gear with the Kill Bill because I guess it had like a, an attire. I remember Ronda Rousey's, you know, um, Mortal Kombat gear. I can remember different things like that. But I think this Becky head sculpt does look good. It looks pretty much just like our Elite 72 figure, but with some added makeup to be more accurate to SummerSlam or to whatever event this was. I think it was SummerSlam. But there is Becky Lynch, another great Becky Lynch figure as far as head sculpts are concerned. I think the Elite 72 Becky Lynch is the the best elite and i think that the elite 72 becky lynch may beat the ultimate edition we'll just have to see about that hopefully we can actually put this head sculpt on that ultimate edition because i personally like the elite 72 head sculpt better than this head sculpt i don't like the added makeup there i like it with the, you know just the the man face sculpt on there you know looking like a beast mode and then take that put that on the ultimate edition possibly you know until we get that ultimate edition figure in hand guys i really do not know how to feel about that head sculpt and i can't really judge it for my full capacity but becky Becky Lynch looks good right there. And then finally, we have the Chase variant figure, which is going to be Lana. So Lana is the Chase variant figure. So we have her in her blue gear, and then we have her in this orange and purple or orange and blue gear right here, which is really, really bright and saturated. And it looks good. I, again, I really like the hair sculpt. I like everything going on with it. Same head sculpt as the Chase variant, obviously. And so uh, you have, uh, uh, I don't know what the hell I just said right there. You, uh, you have Lana in her orange gear, and you have Lana in her blue gear. Tell me which one you like down in the comment section below. You know, nothing too crazy, but I did want to post these basic figures up to you guys, see what you guys thought about them, and just see everything going on with it. Um, overall, not a not, not anything crazy. You know, we got some good head sculpts in here. We do we do get an updated Lana. Um, the Rollins figure would have been cool to see, you know, detail, maybe like, I don't know, any other attire? I, I don't know. Like, it's just crazy they just put a rib wrap on him and use the basic 102 head sculpt. I could see that thing, like, rotting on shelves pro probably unless you just really want the rib wrap but there is seth rollins you got undertaker you got ricochet you got becky lynch and you have is that is that six you got lana seth rollins undertaker ricochet becky lynch and lana or is there only five i, I don't know what the hell's going on right there but uh, I, I, I didn't miss any, so maybe they just haven't figured out Basic Series 109, or maybe we've already seen the full Basic Series already, and, I, and I'm just stupid as hell. But anyways, guys, night one of WrestleMania was last night, and if you guys did miss that, I did do a full review of it here on the channel, so definitely go check out the review. Let me know what you thought of the show down in the comment section below of that video, and let me know what you think of these Basics. Do you think they're trash? Do you think they're solid? What would you like to see? Um, I know that, you know, overall, it's just a decent set. Nothing too crazy with it um but we do have you know night two of wrestlemania coming up there will be a review of night two wrestlemania coming tonight so definitely stay tuned for that on the channel i cannot wait to review that um you know overall last night it wasn't too anything ridiculous i thought that you know outside of the ladder match the triple threat ladder match kevin owens versus seth rollins and Undertaker versus AJ Styles in the Boneyard match. The the rest of the show was pretty much forgettable. You know, it's just mad, bled, not good. It was just like any other Raw. And, you know, Braun Strowman become Universal Champion or Blue Universal Champion. Not my favorite. You know, I feel like his ship has sailed and stuff like that. But 
you know, it is what it is. We got night two. Really hyped to see how The Fiend and John Cena plays out just because we know exactly, you know, how, what to expect. Like, the Boneyard match really set the standard for those cinematic WWE film-style matches in production. So, hopefully, they can get everything going and it will match the same intensity, the same creativity, and the same everything that we got with the Boneyard match. So, hopefully, it matches the same thing. We'll have to see, guys. But, anyways, I'm getting the hell out of here. Let me know what you think of these basic figures. Check out the WrestleMania review and I'll check you guys for tonight for night two of WrestleMania 36. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.